Billy Loadmaster is an affordable progressive reloading press. So far in Ultimate Reloader we've covered using this press to load a variety of pistol calibers. Today we're going to take a look at loading 223 or 556 NATO ammunition for your AR-15 rifle or other firearm that shoots this cartridge. Let's see how it works on this press. With this reloading press I've used the included case collator with success with pistol cartridges. But for rifle, I'm going to leave that unit detached and we're just going to manually feed brass into the shell holder uh, so that we can have a simple setup and yet an effective setup for loading 223 ammunition. So before we get started, let's take uh, a look at the die setup that we're going to be using today. So in station number one, I've got a Lee 223 uh, sizing and depriming die. Uh, and I'm going to size and deprime because I need the expander ball to expand the case neck here in station number one. Can't do that in station number two because we're priming there. Station number two, I've got a Redding 223 sizing and depriming die with the sizing pin uh, removed so that we can center the 223 cartridge over the priming station. This is an important setup detail that's noted in the, in the Lee setup instructions and I found that it makes for more uh, reliable priming operation. In station number three, we've got our um, rifle charging die with the auto disc, double disc powder measure, just like we used it uh, for the Lee Classic Turret uh, video. Uh, this time with the chain return instead of the spring return for the safety action. In station number four, we've got a Lee 223 bullet seating die. And in station number five, we've got the Lee Collet Crimp die. So, Effectively, we're going to be using all stations. Uh, it is technically a five station press, but since we center a die and don't really use it for anything other than that, it's essentially uh, a four station progressive uh, reloading press at the end of the day. So we're already pretty much set up here. I've got uh, Federal Small Rifle Primers in, in the primer tray. I've got brass that I've uh, cleaned and lubricated with Imperial uh, sizing die wax. We've got our bullets over here. We're going to be using uh, Hornady, Hornady VMAX uh, uh, 22 uh, caliber 55 grain bullets. And so uh, since we've already set everything up, we've adjusted our dies, we're just going to insert brace, brass into uh, station number one. We're going to feel that as it sizes. We're going to uh, continue on to station number two, put another a uh, piece of brass in station number one. And we're going to continue along. Now on the top of the stroke, uh, we're going to charge with powder. We're going to listen and wait for the, the powder to, to stop uh, falling. And now uh, we're going to enter into the uh, bullet seating station. We're almost utilizing all stations now. There we go. So each time we're going to add a piece of brass, we're going to do visual on our powder, and we're going to add uh, a bullet at the same time. I like to uh, take my time with rifle loading because it never pays to be in a hurry, believe me. So we're doing a visual, place a bullet, easy, easy as she goes here. And if we take our time and if we're patient, uh, we're going to have an event-free um, loading session here. And we could definitely speed things up here once we get going, but uh, while I'm letting things settle in, it's not going to hurt uh, to stop every once in a while check our um, cartridge overall length keep a steady eye on the powder and this is going to go definitely a lot faster than uh, loading on a single stage or on a turret even because every stroke of the handle we've got a completed round here one of my cartridges fell on the floor sometimes uh, that will happen you have to kind of take it nice and slow when you uh, eject the round or it can overrun your uh, completed cartridge bin.
If you're looking for a low cost reloading press that can reload 223 ammunition in a hurry, the Lee Loadmaster is worth a look. I hope that this video has helped to illustrate how this press works when loading rifle ammunition, and I also hope that you're going to stay tuned on ultimatereloader.com as we continue to look at different applications for this reloading press and other reloading presses alike. Thank you.